y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be showing y'all all of the books that I brought to college with me. <laughs> So if you didn't know, I am in college. I honestly don't even know what grade I'm in. Uh, I took kind of like a gap year halfway through my sophomore year, but I've also taken community college classes since then. So like I'm either already a junior or going to be a junior soon. I don't know. But I ended up transferring to a new college. I have a previous dorm room bookshelf tour. Um, I think I'll link it down below. Hopefully it's not cringy. Uh, that was my first, it's one of my first videos I ever made on this channel. Anyway, I'm actually in an apartment, so I'm not in a dorm. Uh, so I actually got to bring some bookshelves with me. I actually had these bookshelves in my room. Y'all never saw them <laughs> ever uh, in like vlogs or anything. So I thought I would share with y'all what books that I brought to college and why I brought them and certain knickknacks and things in my bookcase so here we go so this first little shelf right here are all books that I've already read and I love and then we have my bookmarks uh, I keep all my bookmarks in this little jar here um, I actually painted it at like a pottery place um, it kind of looks ratchet a little bit the paint kind of came off on a little bit of it but that's okay this is what it looks like all the way around. Ooh, one of my hairs just fell. <laughs> I love this. I can stick all of my bookmarks in this. It's amazing. So if you ever want like a book mark holder thing, I totally recommend going to paint something like a pottery place and making something. I thought about actually doing like a bookmark collection video. Would y'all be interested in that? I rarely, very rarely buy bookmarks. Some of them are gifts. Some of them aren't necessarily bookmarks. I like to go to like thrift stores, antique stores, and buy old postcards. And so a bunch of my bookmarks are actually postcards that were like a dollar and then nine cents to buy. I mean, we have like less than five on here that are actually considered a real bookmark that I bought from like Barnes and Noble or something. Anyway, these are all my bookmarks. I put them in the corner so they'd be easy to access. Then I have the Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins, the Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, I brought these because I am going to be a host during the Hunger Games read along. If you don't know what that is, I will link it down below in my announcement video. I'm going to be the host for the first book, The Hunger Games in uh, February. Read along with me, Emma from Muggle Glamour, Lily from Lily Eleanor Reads, and Peyton from Peyton Reads. We're all going to be hosts during this uh, read along and we're going to be reading it all together and talking about it, discussing it. So be sure to join us for that. So that's why I brought these. Next, of course, I brought Bring Me Their Hearts by Sarah Wolf, one of my favorite young adult novels of all time, young adult fantasy books. I love this book a lot. Y'all probably saw on my bookcase back home. I display it a lot because the cover is gorgeous. They just came out with the paperback version of this book. Zira, who's on the front cover right here, is uh, in like a different outfit. And like, I want it so badly, but like, I don't need it. But like, I want it so badly. She looks amazing. I brought this one. I love this book a lot. You know, go to fantasy book, totally recommend one of my favorite books of all time. Next, I brought Wait For You by Jennifer L. Armantrout. I brought this one because this was my favorite book of 2019. And I love this book a lot, so I brought it with me. Next, we have another favorite, The Simple Wild by Katie Tucker, one of my favorites from 2019, so I brought this one also. I brought two other favorites from 2019. We have Royally Screwed by Emma Chase and Royally Matched by Emma Chase. This one is my favorite in the series, the second book, but I felt weird just taking the second one. If I wanted to reread them, I kind of wanted to bring the first. Also, I love the first one too. I just brought both of them. They're so good. <laughs> another favorite from 2019 that I brought is Within These Walls by J.L. Berg. I love this book a lot, so I brought it. <laughs> and lastly, from that shelf, we have A Full Tilt by Emma Scott. I finally have a physical copy in my hands. One of my favorite books of all time from last year, and I only read it in December. Like, this book is fan freaking tastic. I brought it with me because I might want to reread it soon. I mainly brought all of these books that I love, that I've already read, mainly in case I wanted to reread them. Okay, now we're on to this shelf behind me. You can probably see the TV cords back there. Whoops. Next, I just have my uh, copy of the Bible. I brought, I bought this beautiful um, Bible, new Bible, because I've had the same Bible since I was like 12. So I decided to invest and purchase a new one. This one you can like color in. It's so beautiful. I love it. And then next to it was just my uh, 
Bible journal notebook. Next, of course, is my favorite book of all time. We have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Though, I have been considering this maybe isn't my favorite book of all time anymore. It might have been replaced by another classic that is on that same shelf that I will talk about in a second. I don't know. I don't really want to think about what's my favorite book of all time at the moment because <laughs> uh, I might have an existential crisis because I thought I was Jane Eyre for life, <laughs> um, which I am Jane Eyre for life, obviously, but um, you get what I mean. I brought this book, it's beautiful, I love it a lot. I brought The Problem With Forever by Jennifer L. Armantrout, one of my favorite books of all time. If you have not read this book and you like young adult or even new adult, new adult romance, YA romance, contemporary, hard hitting, this book is for you. It is just, it's wonderful, it's amazing, made me cry, I love it a lot. One of my other favorite books of all time, Assault to the Sea by Brutus Petty's. I cannot go anywhere without this book. It's very beat up, it's well loved, well used, and I will never not go anywhere without this one. And the last book on this shelf, and the book that I think might be my new favorite book of all time, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I love this book a whole hell of a lot. I can't get enough of it. I love it so much. So I, of course, brought this and this is actually my display book for that shelf. Moving on to this one. Right here we just have my A that's cut out out of a book um, that I got. I don't know where, um, but it's an A as a book. The rest of the books, I believe, are books I have not read yet. So here are my two recent purchases. We have Sick Kids in Love by Hannah Moskowitz. I'm really looking forward to this one. And then in the same trip, I also purchased A Princess in Theory by Alyssa Cole, the first book in the Reluctant Royal series. I've been meaning to get this book for so long, so I'm so happy that I got my hands on it earlier this week. Next is a book that I've been reading for so long, Unbroken 13 Stories Starring Disabled Teens. Short story collection I've yet to complete. I believe I started this during Buzzwordathon because <laughs> it has 13 in there and it was numbers for the Buzzwordathon. So I am not even halfway through this yet. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Next we have my current read, The High Woman by Kerrigan Byrne. And then we have The Bet by Rachel Van Dyken, which were both books that I wanted to read during the Smutathon. Now we're going on to this shelf right next to me. First we have Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. Of course, a J.R. Ward book. We have The Black Dagger Brotherhood and Insider's Guide because I have not read this one in particular yet. And you can't listen to anything in this book. You have to physically read it, so. I brought this one because I still need to read Bella and Zadist's little novella story, I believe, of her giving birth in this book. Next are three mass market paperbacks. We have Stealing Kisses in the Snow by Joe McNally. And then the next two are part of a series. We have A Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher. And then the second book, which is Breath of Fire by Amanda Boucher. Both a part of the Kingmaker Chronicles. I have heard great things about the series from Ashley from Ash Art Books, so that's why I brought it because I really want to read this series. And then we just have this pretty gray bookend over there. I have one on that side too. Now we're on to this side. Next I have Bride of the Sea by Emma Ham. I love Emma Ham. This is the third book in her retelling series, like Behind the Sea retelling series. I believe this one's The Little Mermaid. Um, so this is the next one I really need to read in the series. So. Uh, it was on sale on Amazon too. I only got this for six bucks. So go check out this book on Amazon if you're looking into it. Might still be six bucks. I don't know. Next are all romances over here. We have A Shattered Moment by Tiffany King. The Hurricane by R.J. Prescott. The Last Letter by Rebecca Yaros. Close to You by Kristen Proby. And lastly for that little shelf we have Leave Me Breathless by Jodi Ellen Malpass. And then behind me is the shelf of romances that I have not read yet. <laughs> we have Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. The Moment of Letting Go by J.A. Renmierski. Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Tali Hibbert. This is our Lovely Ladies Live Show pick for the month of January, so I also need to read this one pretty soon. And then my display book for that shelf is The Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. I am really looking forward to reading this one and the cover is gorgeous. A book I really need to read, The Bride Test by Helen Huang. <laughs> the Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. The Right Swipe by Alicia Rye. And then Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. And then we're on to this shelf. This shelf is like my YA. First we have Sorcerer of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Wayward Son by Rainbow Rowell. I should have brought Carry On with me. Why didn't I bring Carry On with me? <laughs> Next is a book I started in 20 2019 and then things got in the way and I really want to read it though is Serpent and Dev by Shelby Maharin. 
I really want to read this. Got a little bit through it. Um, I'm gonna probably start it all over again and read it soon. Then we have Hot Dog Girl by Jennifer Dugan. Pride by A.B. Zaboy. Stealing Home by Becky Wallace. This is Not a Love Scene by S.C. McGale. Find Me Their Bones by Sarah Wolf, which is the second book in the Bring Me Their Hearts series and I have not read it yet. I should be shamed. <laughs> I'm just very worried and scared. So I haven't picked it up yet. I really want to read it though. <laughs> Next we have The Marrow Thieves by, I believe it's Sheree Demalon. Demalon? I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. And then we have A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket, The Bad Beginning. I have yet to read A Series of Unfortunate Events, so I had to start. I really want to start this series. And then we have The English Roses, A Perfect Pair by Madonna. I'm so excited for this. Look how cute that is. And then this last shelf is just notebooks. There's a big binder, there's a book bow. I guess the only three things like worth showing are the coloring books I have. I have three. These two are from Zach from Zach Tries to Read. He got me these for my birthday, which is so wonderful of him. You have the Lunar Chronicles coloring book and the Throne of Class coloring book. I've been wanting to get more into coloring because coloring really helps me de-stress. So I love that. And then I also have of course, a Disney princess coloring book with a bunch of stickers in it. Then I have my journal. This is a Barnes and Noble journal from August 2019 to December of 2020. Um, I absolutely love this journal, schedule, planner, whatever. I love this so much. So I'm excited to start this up again because this really helped when I was taking classes and was in school. And then we have my bullet journal right here, which I still need to work on. <laughs> and then the rest are just some random notebooks, my booktube notes. My book notes and just notebooks I haven't used yet. So there you have it. That was my college bookshelf tour. These are the books that I brought to college with me. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down below if you have a college bookshelf tour or something like that. I'd love to see it. Uh, but anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.